Uh, let's move on to Fremantle and Sydney because the Dockers had their first win at the SCG, I think since uh, 2011. They got home by 17 points. Schiltz kicked four goals and Big Sean Darcy was, who's, was being linked to Geelong for next year but completely denied by the Darcy camp today. So that's a, a load of rubbish. 16-7-103 to 13-8-86. Yeah, Sean Darcy was dominant but I want to talk about the Dockers' ball movement, their offence. So that's 100 points two weeks in a row. The last time they did that was rounds 11 and 12, 2016. But I want to talk about the three-pronged anchor. And that might be this new generation of key forwards they've got because for the second time in their career, the three boys have played together in the one side. A 21-year-old Luke Jackson, a 19-year-old Jai Miss and a 20-year-old Josh Tracy. And they look like this could be the future. This could be the key forward combination that Fremantle have been crying out for to take them to the promised land since Pavlich. And I love how they all work together. They keep the separation and they all offer different things. So Tracy's the big bull, the real competitive guy, but he's also got a turn of speed. Like not many, not many 195 centimetre key forwards tuck the ball under the arm and run and bounce like that. Luke Jackson is that off-ball player that can float across, take a mark, but we know what he's capable of at ground level. He's, he's, he's a complementary player to the other two. And then Jai Amos, who we've touched on a little bit, Kingy, yeah. he's that full-chested lead-out, present like at the him, kicker, come at the leg. So these guys have played twice together as a three. Give them another 30, 40 games together in the same forward line, mm. and maybe this is what the Fremantle Dockers have been waiting for to get that first premiership. So the, the, the Triple J, that's the, the Josh, Jai and Jackson. That's oh. the, that's the, oh. the triple There you line. go. I you like it. Why don't you give me that pre-show? Uh, oh, oh, yeah. so, but it, that was a big win for Fremantle, something to work <laughs> with. No doubt when the midfield and the ball movement is flowing, it gives the forwards a chance, but something they can build. Sydney, Sydney get off scot-free tonight.